Hi everyone, welcome back. I recently just started on my trademark journey and I'm here to find out about how trademark can help me and my work. Let's go! Hi Ida! Hi Denise! Or should I say Super Cat K? Both are fine. I actually successfully trademarked Super Cat K. Congratulations, that's really great to know. A trademark will definitely help to protect this brand as well as the unique products and content that you've developed under it. So I'm really glad to hear that you've gotten it registered. Well, what happens to brands that are not yet registered? Are there any ways they can still protect the brand? If they have been using your trademark and have established goodwill as well as brand recognition, there is a law of passing off which they can use to protect your mark even if it has not been registered. In short, if business owners can prove their name or mark has been actively used in the course of trade and is recognised as its origins, they may be able to take action against copycats. Okay, that's interesting. I chose to pursue trademark registration for a greater peace of mind because I get an added layer of legal protection. I understand that it's sometimes a more effective notice against copycats too. Yes, the law of passing off doesn't provide certainty of legal protection which is important as your business grows. And if you eventually expand to, say, neighbouring countries, you might find yourself in a fix if someone else has trademarked a similar name or mark. Okay, and busy business owners, you might like this. You can register your trademark on your mobile. Yep, just use the iPostGo mobile app to search for similar marks before you start your application to register your trademark. And then you can complete your entire application through the app afterwards. So what would you say are the three must-knows on trademark for entrepreneurs or content creators like myself? Protect your brand by trademarking it because trademarks can offer legal protection against unauthorised use of your brand. It can enhance your long-term business value even during national or global expansion. And you have better standing to take legal action against those who infringe upon your trademark. So what should we do if we encounter trademark infringement? The first thing you should do is to gather all evidence of the trademark infringement, including instances, dates, locations and relevant documents or materials. Try mediating or negotiating to resolve the dispute without going to the court. You can sign up for IP clinics for guidance on trademark infringement issues and potential legal recourse. Thank you so much for this insightful chat. I've definitely learned a lot about IP and I hope you have too. If you still have any burning questions, our IP clinics are available with experts who are ready to give you advice. Let's raise more awareness of IP for both users and owners. Share this video with anyone you know who might need it. This has been so much fun. Take care and we'll see you. Bye! Bye.